Hello, today we're going to be over adding social media icons to your WordPress website. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fast lane to success. There's a whole bunch more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Alright, so say you're on Facebook, YouTube, um, and Twitter and you want to get those icons on the right. Uh, this plugin will also show you a whole bunch of, way, whole bunch of other links you can add. Those will be the three that we're going to be adding today, um, but we'll go through them all. So first thing you want to do is install the plugin. Right, you're going to go to your plugins and hit Add New, and then and what you're going to search is Social Media Widget. I also put a link to download it directly in the um, in the description for the video. All right, so it's this one here by Brian Fertag. Hit install. And then activate. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do is go to appearance, make that drop down, and hit widgets. And that adds another widget here social media widget. You can drag that into your sidebar. All right. Now you'll notice there's a whole bunch of different ones you can add. Uh, stumble upon, delicious, uh, RSS, email address, Let's, and there's a whole bunch of custom ones. We won't go over that today. That'll be a little bit more advanced if you have your own icons you want to add. Um, maybe if you are a member of associations, you could put the, the image URL in here and you could put the link to uh, the profile on that website, but for now we'll just focus on uh, the simpler ones. So. For mail to, I'll put in info at compete.biz. Why not add that in? Uh, let's see, add in Facebook. Add in our Facebook page. Alright. It's as easy as this. Keep, just keep at, going through and add all your, um, add all your links. No, Twitter, and of course, add in the YouTube. Okay. If I could find it. Chatting. Vimeo. Here's YouTube. So many of them, but that's good. You want to have them all, but uh, you know, you just got to look for them a little harder sometimes. Okay. And now there are some options. You could do open a new tab, which I always recommend. That means that if somebody clicks on it, it'll just open a new page instead of uh, leaving your website. Um, let's see. You can choose the shape of your. I, I'm going to go with default for now, but if you want to have hearts, you could do that. If you want to have. I'm not even sure what these other ones look like, but you could kind of play around with them until you get the ones you want. So we'll do default. 32 is a pretty good size. Open in a new tab. I'm going to. I like them centered. Alright, so let's hit save and see how it looks. Open this in a new tab. All right, and there they are, floating right there for us. If I click that, it'll bring me to the Compete Now page. Uh, if I hit this, it'll um, op it open up a uh, email in my Outlook. All right, so that's nice and easy. Um, one thing I do want to show you, as an example, is you notice these are kind of I don't like how these are. These are kind of transparent. They they look a little bit too transparent to me. So that, to fix that, you go back to your options, and you'll see where it says op uh, opacity 80%. Um, you could make it 90. I'm gonna make it 100 even. I like them to be very visible. And you'll see the difference. Yeah. So they're just much easier to see now. 
You can even make them a little, I, I wouldn't even mind making them a little bit bigger. 64 pixels might be a little bit too big, but let's see how it looks. Yeah, those are huge, but some people like to have them that big, so if you want, you can do that, but I would go back and put, make them um, 32 by 32. I'm going to be leaving these in here anyway, so I might as well make them look right. Okay, so I'm going to go down to here, hit 32. Back, fresh. And that's it. That's how you add those social media icons without having to use the HTML. Uh, it's just much easier and they look pretty good. I'm definitely going to be using this plugin a lot more in the future instead of having to code them in myself. Alright, so this has been another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials. Give you the keys to our presence and put you in the fast lane to success. Uh, there's a lot more on our website at startcompete.com slash tutorials. Check them out and uh, you can learn a whole bunch more stuff.